Well, hello and welcome. Welcome to a beautiful November morning in Scotland. This is where I do my forestry. I've been trying this for about five years now. Um, we're thinning it. Something like 18,000 trees here, so it's a big job. Um, the, the plan when this was planted 25, 30 years ago was to clear fill it, but we're trying to keep it intact. So we're just cutting out individual trees. This is a big job. Um, where I am now is actually at the 30 degree slope, and it's crisscrossed by streams which are very nice but it all makes access very difficult. You can see we just can't get any heavy machinery in here and it's hard to get out the individual trees that we fell. So I have this. Um, I've looked at log arches and uh, log haulers but they're either too expensive or too big. Um, <coughs> this was actually a trailer for a motorbike which I picked up very cheaply. I think they're cheap because you can only use a motorbike trailer for towing a motorbike. Normally they're too small to convert into a full size road going trailer. Here it is without the logs. It's narrow so it fits in between the trees and the quad pulls it no problem. When I got it it had sides and a base which I removed to get the weight down and I've not had to do any other work on it at all. Just removing the bits that I didn't need. I left the forward plate in to stop the logs sliding forward because we've got some pretty steep inclines here. The, uh, the centre of gravity is quite far back so you can get long logs on it without stressing the ball hitch on the quad. It has a wishbone leaf spring type suspension. It's all old, old technology but it's very strong. OK, fast forward half an hour. Here it is filled with logs. Um, these are freshly cut so they're quite heavy. Um, I would not like to try and get any more on than this. Um, remember most quads can only pull a few hundred kilograms before it starts to damage the frame. Um, it's one of the problems with big log trailers I saw. That's the quad. That's a Quadzilla 325 and I'm pleased with it. It's a lot cheaper than a Honda. I've had, I've had no trouble with it tow hitch is off a caravan I think. It slides in and out which is useful because the ground here is quite rough and it uh, helps absorb a lot of the thumps and bumps so you don't get jawed around when you're towing it. So there we are. I hope you enjoyed the video. On my next effort I'll be showing you my homemade timber winch.